What does the perfect plane look like? Is it single aisle, wide body, fuel efficient, long range or purple? For each airline at this year's Paris Air Show, the answer will be slightly different. That's why American aircraft maker Boeing and its European rival Airbus spend so much time and money trying to ensure they're offering a range of planes to airlines. And that's what makes this year's battle for orders between these two so interesting. Because this year, Airbus is turning up with a wider selection of planes than Boeing. So will that give Airbus the edge in securing some of the hundreds of orders expected at this year's show? Let's find out. Okay, so first, a bit of context about what makes this year's air show so important for airlines and plane makers. See, while the COVID pandemic may have decimated global travel in 2020, it's since recovered in a big way. And now, with looming climate targets and rising fuel costs, many airlines are looking to renew their fleet to buy more fuel-efficient planes, like Airbus's Neo range and Boeing's Max range. Some analysts say that there could be over 1,000 orders at this year's show. But the decisions around which plane to buy goes far, far deeper than how many seats it has or how far it can fly. The analysis that goes into a fleet decision for an airline is one of the most critical pieces of analysis that an airline does. That's WSJ's Ben Katz, who I caught up with just before the show. Their fuel consumption, the size of the aircraft, um, the expense of operating kind of per seat. These are kind of the dynamics they're looking for. Also depends on you know how quickly you want to turn around an aircraft. Low cost airlines like Southwest or Ryanair in Europe, you know they want to have utilization rates of 12 hours a day where their aircraft is flying. For Boeing and Airbus, getting the right balance of all these factors is crucial because if they get it right, they're not just selling a plane but also potentially securing a lifelong customer. Once you choose an aircraft manufacturer, especially for smaller airlines, that's typically the one that you stick with because in the cockpit, you know how you operate this, how you maintain aircraft differs quite significantly between Boeing and Airbus. But above all, what airlines seem to want from an aircraft manufacturer is choice. And that's where Airbus might steal an advantage at the air show. See, Airbus is offering ranges from its 100 to 150 seat A220, all the way up to the massive A350-1000, with a huge choice of seats and ranges in between. And in the mix is the company's widely popular A320neo family of planes, including the A321, which can fly more passengers further than Boeing's 737 MAX 10. And when it comes to Boeing's offerings... Boeing's issue is that while it used to have a really big range of aircraft, those options have kind of whittled down um, over the years. And, and, and part of the issue here is that it hasn't been able to bring to market um, some of the options that it's been advertising. In addition to dealing with the fallout from the two MAX crashes in 2018 and 2019, the company has also suffered years of delays with its 777X planes and production issues with its 787 Dreamliner program. And this plane behind me, the 737 MAX 10, the one that could take on Airbus's A321, is still awaiting certification. All that has meant that Boeing has a smaller offering this year, and we've seen some airlines switching sides. For example, Iceland Air has recently decided to buy Airbus's A321, and that sets a precedent for the airline, which has been for a very long time an all Boeing operator, yeah. to potentially switch its entire fleet to Airbus. So what does this mean for the show? Is it the beginning of the end of the duopoly? Well, Boeing is by no means out of the game. It's booked a series of mega orders in recent months, including a deal to supply Saudi Arabia with scores of aircraft. And it's not all plain sailing for Airbus, as the company has been battling production delays on its A320 lineup and has suffered a lack of availability. But nothing is set in stone. That's because the waiting time for these new planes is over half a decade, as aircraft manufacturers are still dealing with supply chain woes, chip shortages and production snaps. So even if an airline commits to buying a plane today, there's nothing to say it won't have changed its mind by the time the next air show rolls around.